Hi friends, welcome to Yoga with Rachel and also welcome to your yoga practice for migraine relief. Firstly, I'm really sorry that you have a migraine right now. Now this class is really great for when you are currently experiencing a migraine or if you feel one coming on and also for preventative care. For items today, I do invite you to bring a pillow or a blanket as well as a face cloth or an eye pillow as this can help darken the room and also a glass of water. Now, if none of these items are available, it is all good. Work with what you have. In relation to your physical space, practice in a quiet environment. I also invite you to decrease the brightness on your computer screen or whatever tech you are using. Also practice in a scent free environment if you can, as we know that you know particular smells, brightness, as well as noise can trigger or even worsen an existing migraine. All right, feel free to pause the video if you need to grab any items. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, friends, I invite you to find a comfortable seat of your choosing. You can begin this practice on a couch or a chair. You can also sit with your back pressed up against the wall for loving support. If you are down on the ground with me in a cross-legged seat, I invite you to sit up on a pillow or a folded blanket just to create a little bit more space in the body and of course for comfort. So I invite you to listen to your body, go inward and respond. What would feel best for you today? So before we engage in any sort of movement, I invite us all to take a sip of water. So sometimes migraines can be triggered or worsened when we are dehydrated or we're not keeping our fluids up. So I invite you to take sips of water throughout this practice and also throughout your day just to nourish the body and to just really give back to both the mind and the body in a loving way. All right. I invite you to either look down and past your nose, just softening your gaze, or you can close your eyes, allowing my voice to guide you. Let's start off with some gentle movement, drawing some slow circles with the nose. Working out any kinks in the neck, any tightness or stiffness. And now reverse that circle going in the opposite direction. Check in with your breath. Breathing through this loving exercise. Wonderful. Bring your head back to center and over your heart. I now invite you to swim your hands back and behind you by your tailbone, interlace your fingers, and then reach your knuckles towards the ground and then away from the body to really open up through the heart, through the chest. And now my friends, if you're finding that this stretch is a little bit too much, feel free to place your hands on the ground, fingertips pointing in, Loop your shoulders and lift your heart, still offering a beautiful stretch. Wherever you are, let's lift our chin on up towards the sky, receiving a stretch through the front of the neck. And then chin drops towards the chest, nice and slow. Chin towards the sky. And then chin towards your chest. And then bring your head back to center. Let's now shake the head no. So turning to look past the right shoulder, nice and slow. 
and then back through center and then over to the left side. Back through center, to the right. And then making your way back through center and then to the left. And then slowly bring your head back over your heart space. Keep this bind with your hands, but we're just gonna relax the arms. Now bring your hands to your left hip, right above that bone, and then drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Stretching out through the right side of the neck. Breathing some love into this area of the body. Perhaps you can feel a bit of a stretch in that right shoulder. All right, bring your hands back through center, same with your head, and then bringing your hands to your right hip, dropping your right ear towards your right shoulder, breathing into the left side of your neck. So sometimes we may experience migraines when we have tension that is building up in the neck the shoulders, upper back body. So sometimes gentle stretches, it's really all that we need to just release that tension to help us feel a little bit better. Beautiful. Bring your head back through center. Same with your hands right by your tailbone. Breathe in here. And then breathe out to release the bind, placing your hands on your thighs for a breath cycle. Friends, feel free to keep your eyes closed or you can peek at the screen at any time. On your next breath then, send your arms from left to right. Draw your hands back in space to really open up through your heart. And then on your next breath out, give yourself a hug. Right arm over top of the left. Fingertips are placed on your shoulder blades. Breathe in here. And then breathe out to begin to round through your back body releasing your chin closer towards your chest, allowing your head to grow heavy here. Same with your neck. Check in with your jaw. Just notice if you are clenching your teeth. Just being mindful of that and creating some space in the mouth. On your next breath in, rise up, finding a neutral spine, and then send your arms from left to right once again. Breathe in to send, send your hands back in space, and then breathe out to give yourself another loving hug, left arm over top of your right. Breathe in, breathe out to round through your back body, bowing your head, this time, I invite you to breathe into your upper back body, sending the breath there. Find any areas in which you can just soften and relax, such as in your fingers. Breathe in, and then on your next breath out, let that be your cue to roll up through your spine, unravel, 
Releasing your hands to your thighs once again. We are here for a breath cycle. Okay, again, feel free to keep your eyes closed, looking down and past your nose, whatever feels good today. Let's release the right fingertips to the earth. On your next breath then, send your left hand high into the sky, stretching through the left side body, and then breathe out to reach over towards the right side. Stay grounded in your left hip. You can lower onto your right palm and then just find some gentle and easy movement here. Paying attention to your neck. Paying attention to your ears and your shoulders, just creating some space. Breathe in here. And then breathe out to rise on up, releasing your left fingertips to the earth. Breathe in to send your right hand high into the sky. Find length through the side body first. And then breathe out to reach over towards the left side. Again, I invite you to find some organic movement here. So sometimes when we're not feeling well, we may have this tendency to kind of curl in, curling up into a ball, right? So the heart may be collapsed, the shoulders rounding forward. So we are engaging in some really gentle stretches here to really open up these areas of the body, the chest, your heart space, through the shoulders, and also your side body. Breathe in here, and then breathe out to slowly rise on up, coming back to center. So before we continue, I invite you to take a sip of water once again. Take a moment just to notice how you feel. All right, now we are going to explore some breath work together. The breath technique that we will be exploring is called alternate nostril breathing. And this one is fantastic for offering relief from migraines. So I will guide us through this. The fingers that we need are the thumb as well as the ring finger. So bring your thumb to your right nostril and then seal your right nostril with your thumb. Breathe in through the left side. Hold your breath at the top and then switch. So your ring finger covers your left nostril as you breathe out through the right side. Keep your ring finger exactly where it is. Breathe in through the right nostril. Holding your breath at the top before switching, thumb covers your right nostril and then you breathe out through the left side. So the mouth remains closed as we do this. Breathe in through the left side. Retain the breath at the top, switch. Cover your left nostril as you breathe out through your right side. Breathe in through your right nostril. Holding the breath at the top before switching. Thumb covers right nostril. Breathe out through the left side. As you do this, relax your shoulders down. Breathe in through the left nostril. Retain the breath at the top. Switch, breathe out through the right nostril. Breathe in through the right side. 
holding the breath, switch, and then breathe out through your left nostril. When you have the hang of it, I invite you to look down and past your nose or close your eyes. Let's breathe in through the left side. Holding the breath at the top, ring finger seals, left nostril. Breathe out through the right side. Breathe in through the right side. Holding the breath at the top before switching, breathing out through the left. Breathe in. Retain the breath, switch, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right side. Holding the breath at the top, switch, breathe out through your left nostril. Release your hand to your lap. Breathe in through both nostrils now. And then breathe out through both. Just take a moment to notice how you feel. You can take a sip of water here if you would like. All right, my dear friends, you can open up your eyes or just keep the gaze nice and soft. Let's bring our fingers to the temples. Apply gentle pressure as you begin to massage your temples, moving your fingers in a circular motion. So this could feel really lovely, especially if you are experiencing a migraine because Sometimes migraines happen and we can really feel them in the temples, sometimes just on one side. Feel free to close your eyes too while you do this, if that feels better. And now you can bring your hands to over top of your eyebrows. Sometimes we may experience the pain in this area. I know for me it's right above one of my eyebrows. And feel free to even just massage the jaw as well, perhaps close to your ears. You may even find a bony part right here when you open and close your mouth. Sometimes we experience migraines uh, due to uh, TMJ. So perhaps a really nice way to show love to your body is to massage the jaw. And perhaps you even begin to massage the base of your skull, your neck. You can even get into your traps and the shoulder area. Just go inward and just listen to your body. What would feel best for you? Perhaps where are you feeling any discomfort, any tightness? in the body and just tend to those areas. So in my opinion, self-massage is the ultimate act of self-love and care. So just get in there. Kind reminder to keep your breath flowing as you do this. And then whenever you feel satisfied, just release your hands to your thighs. So if you are sitting on a couch or a chair, I invite you to join us down on the ground now. Uh, 
take a sip of water. Why not? Let's take a sip of water all together. Cheers. Let's stay hydrated together. All right, let's make our way to all fours. We won't be here for very long. You can make use of your pillow or your blanket to pad your knees as well as your shins. Bring your big toes together and then walk your knees towards the long edges of your mat or a width that feels comfortable for you. Walking the wrists underneath the shoulders. On your next breath in, reach your tailbone towards the sky, dropping your belly, opening on up through your heart. Lift your chin slightly. Breathing out, tucking the tailbone under, rounding through your back body, chin releases towards your chest. Allow gravity to do the lovely work here, allowing your head to grow heavy. Breathe in. Finding your cow stretch, dropping the belly, creating space through the front body. And then breathing out, descend it on back to your cat stretch, pressing away from your mat, really feeling that juicy stretch in the upper back. Breathe in, dropping your belly, getting some spinal extension and flexion in today. And then breathe on out, descend it on back, rounding through. And then breathe in to find a neutral spine. Walk your feet and your legs together. And now curl your toes under, stretching out through the soles of your feet as you send your hips back towards your heels. Begin to walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat. There is an option to stay here, my dear friends, or you can melt your heart space towards the earth, eventually releasing your forehead to or towards the earth, and your hands are still reaching forward. If you are looking for a little bit more space, feel free to make some fists. And then you can stack your fists and then rest your forehead on top of your stacked fists. So while we are here, I invite you to breathe into your upper back body, your shoulders, your neck, and into your head, whatever that means to you, just sending some love and attention there. Perhaps just taking a moment to check in with your jaw. Notice if you are gripping, holding, anywhere in the face. Let's breathe in together. And then on your breath out, lift your head away from the ground and slowly let's rise on up together. Nice and slow. Please take your time. Okay. And now you can walk off of your item if you were using one. We are going to transition onto our backs. So take your time. You can take another sip of water here if you would like. Have your items close by, so your eye pillow, your face cloth, your pillow, blanket. Okay. When you get there, I invite you to hug your knees in towards your chest, feeling your low back connect with the earth beneath you, feeling the loving support from the earth. Now send your arms from left to right and then bend, oops, bend at your elbows, finding cactus arms. Palms reaching towards the sky, fingertips soften and curl in here. Breathe in 
And then on your next breath out, begin to melt your knees over towards the right side. And now you may have to just shift your hips over to the left a little bit here. Lowering your knees, legs remain stacked. Feel free to make use of your pillow or your folded blanket here. And you can place that item between your thighs. We are doing our best to keep both shoulder blades pinned to the ground, opening on up through the heart. And whenever you feel ready, I invite you to close your eyes. Mm, sending some love to the low back. Mm. Breathe in here. And then on your next breath out, connect to your center as you lift your knees back through center before melting the knees over towards the left side. So once again, make any adjustments to your hips as needed here. You can make use of your props. Hmm. Breathe in, breathe out, connecting to your center, lifting your knees back through center before releasing your feet to the earth with your knees pointing towards the sky. Permission to keep your arms exactly where they are in cactus arms, or you can place your arms at your size if that feels better for you. All right. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. And now drape your right ankle over top of your left thigh. Open your right knee off to the side. Breathe in here. And then breathe out to lift your left foot away from the ground. Allow your shin and your foot to just dangle here. Feel free to interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Just guiding you a little bit deeper into this hip stretch. Tucking your chin slightly, lengthening through the back of your neck. Breathe here. So we are sending the hips some love today. It's all connected. So some of the tension or tightness, stiffness that gets built up in the body can also build up in the hips. So we're just tending to these key areas. Breathe in here. And then breathe out to release your left foot down to the ground. Unravel, hugging your left knee in towards your heart center before placing your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Breathe in here. And then breathe out to lift your right foot away from the ground. Again, allow your feet to grow heavy, your shin dangles. Choose an option with your hands that feels super supportive. And perhaps even just find a little gentle sway with the lower body from side to side. Mm. 
Let's breathe in together. And then breathe out to lower your right foot to the earth. Unravel. And now walk both feet towards the long edges of your mat. So your toes will be turning out, heels turn in. And then allow your knees to fall in and kiss. This is where your eye pillow will come in handy or your face cloth, whatever you have. So you can place that item on top of your eyes to just help darken the room a little bit. Feel free to keep your arms in cactus arms or you can place your hands on your belly. Snuggle the shoulders underneath the back body, lifting up through the heart. As you breathe in, I invite you to send the breath down to your hands. And then breathe out. Breathe in, directing the breath down to your hands. Perhaps your hands rise in response to this action. And then breathe out. Belly softens. Breathe in, breathe out. Continue breathing into your belly for a few more breath cycles. So my darling friends, permission to stay exactly where you are, or you can send your legs out long on your mat, taking up space, allowing your feet to grow heavy and opening on up like a book. Again, feel free to place your hands anywhere, anywhere that feels really supportive today. I invite you to just continue focusing on your breath, allowing your breath to keep you anchored here and to continue to nourish both the mind and the body. And perhaps you take a final opportunity to do a full body scan, just checking the body for any remaining areas of tension. Just imagining that tension just washing off of your body, your back body, and onto the ground beneath you as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, So I am going to be silent for a moment just to allow you to explore and to really get into it.
So my dear friends, permission to pause the video if you wish to stay here longer. If you need to carry on with your day, I totally get it. Let's remove the eye pillow or face cloth if you're using one. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Gently rock your head from side to side to massage the back of the head. Find stillness. Hugging your knees in towards your chest. Melting your knees over towards one side. Using your bottom arm as a pillow. Just hanging out here just for a moment. And now using your top hand to help you rise up to a seat on your mat. Just take your time. You can find any last movement that will feel really yummy today. Perhaps even just taking a moment to notice how you feel. Let's all take a loving breath in through the nose. And then a loving breath out through your nose or your mouth. Well, I really hope that this practice brought you some relief from your migraine. Feel free to share this practice with anyone that you know experiences migraines or headaches. I'm sure that they will greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and let me know how this class went for you down below in the comments. Thank you so very much. Take it easy today. Rest, stay hydrated sleep, whatever you need to do, feel better, take good care, namaste.